Okay, guys, so guess what came? Look! Okay, so I removed the shipping labels just because I don't need you to know where my address is at the, this moment. But I'm going to do this un... it's not really a box, but we'll call it an unboxing on camera because I'm so excited to open this freaking yarn. I've been waiting. I know it doesn't seem like a long time. A week. But it felt like a really long time and I just watched that Freddie Mercury movie with Alex. I guess I should call it a Queen movie. Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm feeling super excited and then my yarn came in so I'm in a totally awesome mood right now so I just want to start opening this package I am I very well should not have shoved scissors into the paper there could have hit yarn oh my goodness oh my I should have my phone Alex would you mind finding my phone if oh shoot geez Louise well good thing that happened then trying to film a video here. My very classy lighting system is not cooperating. All right, there we go. Okay, so, all right. Ooh. Alex is just as excited as me, no doubt. <laughs> Let me just peek in there. Oh my gosh, look at all the yarns. Oh my God, they had to use another set of those ties because there's so much yarn. I just caught a glimpse of the white. Okay, sorry if the camera shakes. This is on a table. Oh, ASMR. Oh my goodness, the static coming off of this plastic is... There you go. How's that? Is that the right thing? I'm just kidding, I'm not an ASMR channel. Ugh. All right, oh my goodness, look at these packages. Okay, sorry, I just have to take another set of photos because like, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's cut these. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Okay. So, the reason I am so excited about all of this yarn is because I have big plans for all of it. Um, I have several of my designs already, um, already. Let me actually try it on autofocus and see if it can handle that. Right now I have it on manual. I'm just gonna swap over. Okay, um, so, Yes, I'm so excited about, I think there's a tie on the other end, about this yarn because I have tons of design ideas and I've been very inspired in my sketchbook lately. Oh my goodness, I am, did I cut any yarn? Oh, thank God I didn't cut the yarn. I cut right through one of the bags, um, but I didn't hit any yarn, so that's good. So these skeins of, what color is this one? Natural white. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like a sheep. I got natural white. I got a whole bunch of them. I also got a whole bunch of this. I believe this one's going to be bleached white. Yeah, this one's bleached white. So I got a lot of natural white and bleached white. Um, I'm going to do some dyeing videos with these. I'm going to make a sweater out of completely hand-dyed yarn that I'm going to dye entirely with plants and plant things. Oh my goodness, look at how many of them there are. Okay, I'm gonna put the bag down and I'm gonna just start pulling out of the bag so I can show you what we're working with, okay? So, I'm just gonna take this one away too. Oh, they separated them, I think, by... Nope, not by weight. I guess just by how many they could fit in each bag. So I'm first gonna take out... Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes I doubt that I am doing the right thing with my life and then things come in the mail and I'm like, oh, not, that's, right now I'm feeling like that is not the case. I am feeling like I am exactly how I'm supposed to be. Oh, look, I got, they even sent a little calendar. So cute. Aw, so fun. Okay, well, that's not interesting to me. This is what's interesting. Okay, so I got some of the Regal Weight um, Regal, I don't know if that's the weight. I guess it's the two ply. I got a bunch of them in washed white. I got enough to make a sweater for myself. 
in the washed white. So I'm going to dye those with something, maybe avocados, maybe Concord grape blue, maybe um, onion skin gold. I'm not really sure, but oh my God, they smell like sheep. And I really like that about wool. Okay, so those ones are done. I got five of that. And then I got one, oh, this is kind of, kind of ugly. Do you see? Come on, camera lens. You're on, oh, you're still on. Are you struggling? What is going on? There we go. Okay, so you could see how the sport weight looks. It's a little tangly, that's okay. I'm gonna rewind it anyway. Um, but I got enough of the, this is washed white, washed white. Is that natural white? Oh, I guess I got two washed white and then four natural white and then five bleached white. Um, and that's good for one sweater, two sweater, probably like three sweaters total. I just wanted to try dyeing different um, different versions, like the natural, the washed and the bleached are all different like levels of lightness. And I wanted to make it, um, different for each thing that I was making. So that's why I've got those colors and I'm so excited to start crocheting. I might actually start tonight, to be honest. I'm pretty, oh my goodness, look at how pretty this yarn looks together. It's so beautiful. Okay. Oh my God, look how many there are. Okay, there's still so many more to show you. Um, so I wanna show you the design first cause I wanna see how I did for the color matching. So I designed this sweater um, for a Christmas present. And I guess it's not really a Christmas present. It's, it's, um, it's gonna be pretty cool though. Um, so these are the, oh no, this one, sorry. These ones are for Alex. These ones are for Uncle Dean. So my Uncle Dean asked me to make him a sweater. Oh my God, I'm literally dying over some of these colors. You guys, I'm so excited to show you the rest, but I have to, okay, there, this is all for Uncle Dean's sweater. So for Uncle Dean's sweater, I'm doing green, blue, and dark gray. So you can see in my photo here, or my drawing here, I've got the dark gray as the stripe and the cuffs. <sighs> Look at how rich and dark this gray is. Ooh. And then the blue, uh, that one actually is called dark gray. The blue is called horizon blue. How pretty. And then I got a little bit more sage in there as well, just for, um, I, I think I needed one extra. Um, and then I got, let me put these ones down. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. CJ, get out of there. Packaging, he's already there. Look at how pretty they look together. Do they give you like ocean vibes? CJ, get out of there. Go away. Cause they totally give me ocean vibes. I'm literally, Oh, look at how pretty it is. I'm so excited to start working on this. Go away, cat. Okay, next. Next, I have a sweater that I want to make for Alex. I haven't designed it yet. I just picked colors based on colors that he said he liked, which is always a good way to start with Alex. Um, but the colors that he picked were... Okay, we've got forest brown light brown and fur green. So I guess when we were talking, Alex must have had some forest vibes because it's looking pretty foresty. Very pretty together. I'm gonna grab one of each so you can see how they look all up close. Isn't that beautiful? I think that'll be a really beautiful like pullover sweater. I think that'll be really nice. And last but not least, where's the second skein? I have, or Hank, I don't know what's the difference, honestly. It's either a Hank or a skein. I think these ones are a skein. Um, but I got two in Mulberry. And on the camera for me, it's looking like it's got a lot of red in it. But in real life, it's like this dark purple and blue it's like so dark in real life. It looks much brighter on the camera, but it's really dark and purple and blue. And I think that this, I'm going to pair with these colors to make um, a shawl, 
to make another shawl. I might actually leave the blue out now that I'm looking at the brown heather and the mulberry together. That is just glorious. So let me just grab all of these and put them on top so you can see how unreasonable and excessive and amazing this is. I might not even edit this video. I might just like put it into my Premiere Pro and just export it. Maybe I'll tweak the audio if it's crappy, but probably I'm just going to upload this for you guys because I am so excited about it. And I just want to share with everybody all of this yarn that I now get to play with. Oh my goodness. And I know it's all Briggs and Little. It's just because that's who I order from because that's the yarn that I'm currently in love with. Um, and I have 30 balls to work with right now. And I'm very excited about it. Can I, I can't even zoom out anymore. But there are 30 balls of yarn here. I, I wish I could turn it sideways. Maybe I could just take the camera off. Hold on a sec. If you're nauseous by movement, this is not a good time for you. Hey, get out of here. All right, so there's my... I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, look at all this yarn. That's more what the mulberry actually looks like. Very dark. Also, do you like my nails? Did them today. But look at all this yarn. I'm gonna go put it into my wall of yarn. And then I think I'm gonna start working with some of this horizon blue and this super dark gray. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Okay, anyway, um, if you liked seeing all of this yarn then come back next week because I am going to have made something with it by then. Thank you guys for watching and um, see you in the next one. Bye!